Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to the next episode of Tales of Asperia on RT Online. Uh, no recap right now. I just gotta explain to you guys that um, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading very much lately because uh, <laughs> I've been really busy with rehearsing for the upcoming show that I have, and uh, it's things have been very busy. I'm I, I can't apologize enough to you guys, but you have to understand that drama is very important to me. This channel is important to me, but so is drama, and I just, you know, I, I can't just put that away. I've been doing drama since my junior year, and uh, I, I don't know, this is my last year there. And I want to make sure that I put as much work as I can into it. Let's see. Right now I'm changing the equipment for characters because I noticed that I haven't done that in a while. So I'm just make them stronger, you know. So Raven is also in the party. We haven't changed his equipment at all. Okay, bottle, variable edge, smash bow. It gets rid of his magic attack, but it... I don't know. I don't change Raven. Let's see for Estelle. Ooh, Wizard Horn. Let's put that on. Medical boost, too. Uh, hairband. This is the best one. The Bronze Circlet. Another guard. Nothing else for her. Okay, then I think we're good. That's the main four. Changed the equipment as much as I could. I couldn't change much for Rita because I didn't have anything new or more powerful. Now we're in Nordopolica, and we need to go find Bellius. We, we heard that he was in the Colosseum. We haven't done much in here yet, so let's explore it. Try and find Bellius. Give the letter to him that uh, Raven has. This place is really close in. Only those entered in the contest are allowed to enter. All right, so let's go enter in the contest. Wait, what's going on? Lord Bellius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. Damn it! But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild, Brave Vesperia. I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nance. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the Air Crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Dawn. Sure. All right, let's get going, too. Raven left the party. So we need to get going to Desier, right? Well, Raven just went to the inn. So I guess we talk around to people in this town, because that's what Estelle said. And we always want to listen to Estelle. She's a very wise person. So there's a Colosseum going on right now. Can we participate in it? I want to fight in the Colosseum. Let's go find out. There's no people in these shacks. What is this? Fortune's Market. Eh, we don't want to go to a market. We want to go to a Colosseum. The knights went rushing into the Colosseum for some reason. It would seem that something quite serious is happening. Uh, let's go to the inn. Welcome. Staying the night? I think a companion of ours should have already arrived. Did a cynical older man come in? Oh, he's a friend of yours? Your rooms have already been paid for, so please, make yourselves at home. Uh, yeah, let's rest. Shall we call it a day? Good idea. We've earned a good night's sleep. I'm going to turn it up just in case there's dialogue. Estelle. Are you missing the castle? No, I just... I thought I'd come out for some fresh air. I just can't shake those words Pharaoh said to me. Oh, yeah. What was it again? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. 
The world's poison. Hmm. Yeah, well, the world is full of pessimists, that's for sure. For what it's worth, you don't look like poison to me. Was that your attempt to cheer me up? Hey, I'm just trying to be straight with you. <laughs> I guess I do feel a little better. Hey! Yuri, look at that! Hmm? That's Brave Vesperia. The brightest star in the night sky. There's an old story about that star. In the days of old, a great cataclysm occurred that plunged the world into ruin. Countless lives were lost as the people struggled to stand against the oncoming disaster. Its energies all but spent, humanity's hope seemed lost when a pair of siblings appeared. This brother and sister together fought the calamity and saved the world from annihilation. The sister they called Child of the Full Moon. After the struggle, she remained with the Earth. Her brother they called Brave Vesperia, and he ascended to the skies to watch over the world. Wow. The end. Wow, so you went and gave our guild a name with a lot of baggage. Now that you know the story, you should strive to make your guild shine as bright as the star. Yeah, we'll have to tell Carol about this. We'll definitely have to live up to the name. I'm gonna head back. You should too, or Rita's gonna start worrying about you. Okay. Resting music! Yippee! Story time was fun. Raven joined the party! Okay, well there's no new moon out, it's the new sun. The new day has broadened upon us. I'm gonna save my game. Because why not? What if we just walked outside and suddenly Pharaoh just starts attacking us? I don't want that. Let's see, switch Carol with Raven. Haha, <laughs> Carol, you're not getting in that easily. You have to oblige to me first. My name is Yuri. And Ryan. I have two names. I'm two people. That's the Coliseum, so I guess we don't need to be in there anymore. Whoa, what you doing? <sighs> what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing, man? Are you just mad at the air? Or the air? There's two different ways to say air in this world. You lot came to fight, didn't you? I can tell by your eyes. What a bunch of eager beavers. How I love to see people like you getting the stuffing kicked out of them. Oh, you're very optimistic. I like this town. How do we participate in the Coliseum anyway? I want to figure that out eventually. Do some battles, level up, you know. Oh, events. You started all of this. Huh? What are you talking about? Wait, is there talking? I thought I heard voices. Both of you, stop this nonsense! Making a scene like this out in front of everyone! Mind your own business! You'd better put that away before you hurt yourself. Who the hell are you? Hey! I'm wrong for doing this. You'll have my apology later. But I think it's you who, you two who are in the wrong here. Damn it! Are you okay? Oh, th thank you so m much. You were with m m Madam P President Kaufman. We're the guild, Brave Vesperia. Come on, you're like a walking billboard. <laughs> Let him have his fun. You're Rigay of the Ruins Gate, right? You might want to work out a little before you go try and stopping any more fights. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Thanks. Oh, um... That's a favor I wanted to ask of you. Far be it for us to ignore a request from Ruinsgate. Well, it depends on what it is. What did you want to ask us? Perhaps we could discuss somewhere else. Could you come to the Coliseum? We could talk about it there. Whatever he has to say, he doesn't want anybody else to overhear. Sounds pretty suspicious to me. If Ruinsgate recognizes us, it'll help improve our reputation as a guild. Get too greedy with jobs and you'll end up neglecting all of them. Our job for the moment is to look for Pharaoh and to escort Estelle. Yeah, you're right. I'll try to be more careful. But couldn't we at least hear what he has to say first and then decide whether or not to accept? Yeah, maybe you're right. If he asks too much, we'll just say no. 
We don't have the time to be getting wrapped up in more craziness. Let's go and stop by the Coliseum then. We can at least hear him out. And hear him out we shall. Reggae of the Ruins Gate. So there's Ruins Gate, Altosk, and... Fuck. Well, the, guild, the guilds are hard to remember, but I know that the Master Guilds are plentiful. But how much are there in the entire Master Guild? I mean, I feel like Master Guilds will be important throughout the story. So, yeah. Uh, Kaufman's is also a Master Guild. I forgot the name of hers. Was it Fortune's Market? Yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, Fortune's Market. Okay. So they're a guild that sells stuff. And then you're a person. Meet in the Coliseum. This guy said he would be in here. But I don't know where he... Oh! It's the... Is that the... Is that Duke? I'm sorry, but the Duce is not currently receiving visitors. Please come back later. Hey, we keep bumping into each other. Must be fate. There is no such thing. Maybe not. What brings you to a place like this? I have come with tidings for the age-old master of this city. Bellius? Are you here on business with a guild or something? Probably not, right? It is nothing so vulgar as that. Vulgar? All right, so what kind of noble errand are you on? I need not answer that. Don't tell me you're out to save the world or something. Man, what's with that guy? I don't know, Yuri. I want to find that out for myself, too. He seems like a Kingdom Hearts character, the way he speaks and the way he carries himself. Okay, so... This was just an extra bonus. We could just get to see the Duke again. I mean, Duke, not the Duke. The Duce. <laughs> That's fun to say. Duce! Where's that freaking stuttering guy? He said he was in here. Maybe he's in the inn. I gotta stop saying that. I get so used to saying in the inn, I can't stop saying in the inn, in the inn. Uh, let's go in. Welcome to Nordopolica's lodging facilities. 500 gold per night. Nope. Where is he? Is there a door back here? He said meet at the Coliseum? Wait, how do I sign up? Oh, wait a minute. Are you him? I'm an informer who can always deliver the latest information. Right now, the hottest topic is undefeated champion. Clad in some real high-class armor and with awesome swordsmanship. Are you the guy? Finally, I have the a full set of tools available. Next thing is to open my shop early if the goods have arrived. Damn it. What are you doing? Oh, registration. So let's go register then. I want to register in the Coliseum. This counter is reserved for future tournaments. We're still in preparation, so please sit tight. Oh, there he is. Ah, so you have come. My thanks to you all. Now please, come with me. I can't believe I missed him. Relax. Nobody said we've decided to take the job yet. That can wait till you tell us what this is all about. All right. I would like you to stop the man who is trying to take over Palestrale. Take over? This city? Hmm. The plot thickens. Why are you so interested in stopping them, though? It's not your guild, so why not just let it be? You see, we have been commissioned by Palestrale to investigate the ruins at the Colosseum. Huh. Yeah, come to think of it, this city's supposed to be super old. If s someone else took c control, it would be discourteous to the Entelechea. Entele... what? Ah, oh, oh yes, M my apologies. D do you not know of them? I have heard that th they are the ancient race who built this town and allow the guilds to be here. An ancient race, huh? Like the Kritya? Okay. So then who's this guy who's trying to rock the boat here? He, he's the champion of the C Coliseum. Huh? What are you talking about? He is a man who has entered the tournaments to, to, to take on Palestrale directly. His c consecutive victories have brought him closer to B Bellius. This m man is terribly dangerous. If he is not s soon eliminated, I fear that B Bellius may be... So as long as he's winning, Paul Estrale couldn't get rid of him even if they wanted to. So, long story short, you want us to enter the tournament and beat him, right? Y yes, P please for forgive my asking. Jeez, why didn't he just say so? Are you sure this guy is really trying to take over the Coliseum? Of c c course, and he's being b b backed by L L Leviathan's Claw. 
Leviathan's claw plans to use the Colosseum for income to dominate the other guilds. Your voice is annoying. That sounds like a plan someone like Hugh Moore might come up with. No way! We already know Qmor and Leviathan's Claw are working together. Hmm. Wonder what'll fall out of this tree if we shake it a little. Whatever happens, we have to stop Leviathan's Claw. Relations between the Empire and the Guilds will only worsen if we don't. What about Pharaoh? There's no telling when you'll be able to meet him if we get into this. Um, but... Estelle, what is it that you really want to do? What I really want to do... I... I beg your pardon. Is this a difficult decision for you all? There isn't anything difficult about it. What do you mean? We're going to do it, aren't we? We've listened to the story now, at any rate. Right. As a guild, this might not be something we can just ignore. So then, who'll be entering the tournament? Well, we can't ask Estelle, Rita, or Raven to participate. After all, this is a job Brave Vesperia will be doing for Ruins Gate. Okay, so... No hard feelings, but I'd rather not have to go up against Judy. Hmm? And I was just getting ready to enter. Oh well, I suppose I can sit this one out. The boss here shouldn't have to trouble himself with this. So it's up to me then, right? Um, right. Good, because I don't want to play as Carol. So, d do you mean you'll take the job? Sure. Beating the champion will be good for our guild's reputation. It's not a bad deal for us at all. Yeah, you're right. I see. Well, please proceed to the registration area when, when you are ready. Okay. So now it's just me against the whole world. A Coliseum at that. Welcome to the Palestrale of Nordopolica. Will you be participating in the tournament? Yes. Please step inside. Parted with everyone. I'm fighting alone. Whoa! Here we go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brutal battles of the Nordopolica Coliseum! First off, let's go over the rules of the tournament. This is a single elimination tournament. No second chances here. If a fighter makes it through three thrilling rounds, he or she will then challenge the champion. Fighters, if you best our champion in the ring, receive a fantastic prize, but you'll also take the position of champion. And now, on to the first fight. Yuri, good luck! You'll do great, Yuri! Try not to hurt yourself. <sighs> I wanted to fight. You're still going on about that? Oh, yeah. Look at all these people. This should help advertise our guild nicely. In today's first fight, a new face in the Coliseum, hailing from the new guild, Brave Vesperia, please welcome Yuri Rose! His opponent, a former knight turned political activist with a prison record to boot, Gigantus Erendar! Oh, that's easy. I'm pumped, I'm piggity pumped, let's do this, kill the knight! Oh, fuck, okay. He fights a bit like Bacos and, uh, that Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Yeah, he fights a bit like them. Yeah, take it! Yeah! Oh, I'm so good! I'm so good! I guess that was an okay warm-up. It's a warm-up, yes, you're right, Yuri. Second round, we welcome the delicious bandana clad thief! Jerome! Oh, you look easy. <laughs> Where are the starfish? Give me the starfish. Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowell. Don't let your guard down, young warrior. The battle has only just begun. Knock your opponent down to the gates of Hades. Second round. Fight! Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna send him down to the gates of Hades, the underworld. Nope. Ugh. 
Yeah, you're going down. Uh, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you suck. Fatal strike. Oh, yeah. Too easy. You guys suck. Oh, suck. Oh, you look kind of scary. Soon, you will know the exquisite pain of my soul. Versus Brave Vesperia's Yuri Lowe. Is it blind luck? Is it pure skill? Everything will be decided in this one battle. Which of these warriors will extinguish the flames of their opponent's burning soul? Ooh, pick me, pick me. Fight! Here we go. The final battle against the last guy. I forgot his name, but we're gonna go against this guy and then we get to fight the champion. Yeah. Oh no. Aha! <laughs> the one time I blocked and it actually worked. Fatal strike! Come on, you can do better than Do you guys like my fighting? Because I'm doing fucking awesome. Wow, look at Yuri go! Looks like he's got the goods alright. Well, it just keeps getting better. Now it's time for the main event. Allow me to introduce the current and undefeated champion of the Coliseum. What? What do you mean? It's the Hulk Flynn with the steely gaze. Flynn Shifo. Yuri, what are you doing here? <laughs> So you're the evil villain who's trying to take over the Colosseum. Very funny. Want to tell me what you're talking about? <laughs> so we're being used. It seems that way. Men of the Colosseum! Oh god, no! Let the flames of your valor burn bright! <gasps> oh, oh, fuck! We have to fight Flynn! Aren't you cutting it a bit close? Hey, these people didn't pay good money to see a rigged fight. <laughs> Could at least ease up a little. Like you're having any trouble blocking me. Okay, time to fight. Okay, I was turning down the volume and then Flynn got a cheap shot. So, care to explain uh, what you're doing? Stop there? talking, I want to fight. You know, nightly duties and such. Afraid that's all I can say. Since when is becoming the champion of the Coliseum a duty? Especially for a captain of the knights. I'm not at liberty to say. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the volume up if they're gonna keep talking like this. <laughs> ah, oh no, no. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> he is really it's hard. You're taking your promotion so seriously. But be careful you don't bite off more than you can chew. You're the one taking this seriously. It's been a while since I've seen you enjoy anything this much. And don't you think it's about time you returned her highness? You'll have to take that up with the lady herself. Her Highness tends not to listen to the things I tell her. Yeah, well, Her Highness isn't particularly fond of taking my advice either. Oh, fuck. I'll go over limit! <laughs> well, shall we put an end to this little shit? No! How? If we quit now, they'll boo us out of the building. Yuri <gasps> Zagi? Oh, you gotta be kidding. What do we have here? Has someone arrived to steal the spotlight from the stars of the show? Yuri, you've managed to stay alive long enough for me to kill you. Now let me show you my thanks. <laughs> Hate to disappoint you, but I got other reasons for sticking around. You are the only man ever to make me bleed, and I swear that you will die by my hand. Man, why not do something a little more productive with all that energy? Watch this! Whoa! What is that? Oh, it's a Blastia! I can't believe he tried to use it like that! I've got a bad feeling about this. That Blastia... Judith! Hey, what are you doing? What could this mean for the tournament? Oh, screw this! <laughs> I'm out of here! How do you like my arm? You did this to me, and now I'll use it to destroy you! <laughs> Yuri! Come on! 
Come, Yuri. Let me show you my new toy. Now you're starting to get on my nerves. Oh, great. Our next fight with Zoggy? Damn it. Okay. I don't want to fight this guy. I have one health right now. Do you seriously think I'm going to let you get away with using No. Heal me. Thank you. You should really use that tenacity for something more productive. Whoa, what? He's healing himself. Oh no. Ah! Nope, you're not doing it. Still lag, mate. Holy crap. Yeah! Nope! Uh-uh. Thank you, Estelle. Oh, sheesh, man. You are intense. Let me get up. Fatal strike! Fucking bitch. Eat my fucking sword. No! I have a lot of health this time, dude. You can't fucking kill me. I hate you! Just die already! Wait a minute, should I? I think I should. Okay, you guys know what I'm doing. Magic lens! Wait, what? What just happened? Don't do it! Great! Oh, that was weird. Oh my god, we're doing great! Oh, no, no, no. What the hell happened right there? I didn't see it. But I'm gonna go over limit! Oh no! Nope, 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 nope. Yeah! I forgot how to do the burst arts. I remembered, but then I forgot. Oh no! No! I'm stunned! Make it go away! Treat me! Um. Nice spread with a. Oh, of all party members. Cures paralysis! Thank you! It's a good thing I've been saving all my items. Holy! Whoa! No! This is really bad! Just keep running after me and let the overlimit run out! Woohoo! Fatal strike! I love it! Holy crap, what happened right there? Stop it! Let me out on! I need to use some TP healing. Stop it! Okay, you use first aid. I will use. Um. No, that's a waste. Use orange gel. There we go. Oh, we got him! Okay, good job, guys. Secret mission complete. Poor excuse for a person. Ah, man. I think that was the first time we fought him with Raven. Estelle, you're. Oh my god, everyone leveled up at Yuri. How about that? Oh, it's out of his control. That's what he gets for using it like that. This damn blast is not doing what I want it to. Monsters! What are they doing here? They're kept here to be used in the tournaments. That shock just now must have destroyed the barrier blast here that was holding them in. He's getting away. Damn it! Guess we'll have to take care of the monsters first! <gasps> God damn it, can you just let me save my game for once? Oh man, oh, man we're going way over time in this episode! I wanted to record Sonic Colors today, but I guess I got to wait for that one. Oh yeah! Shit, I missed it! I missed the Fatal Strike! Oh man, this guy is strong! Okay, that's one! We gotta get the rest. Um, holy crap, this place is huge. Is there a save point nearby? I don't think so. Let's take care of the monsters and then go after Zagi, but we're wasting a lot of time fighting these. Sorry if I hurt you. Oh no, there's more monsters. That makes no sense at all. Destruction field, bitch. Nope. Stop it. Stop attacking me. There we go. I'll get this bird next. There we go. The bird is gone. Now we get this little weasel thing. Holy crap, you Raven! You're awesome! Nope, 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 nope! Stop it! Ah, oh, I missed! Wow, I suck. There we go! Hey, come on! Yay! Alright, how about a hug? I don't think so. 
<laughs> oh, I never seen that one before. Okay. Oh shit. This is becoming a real pain in the neck. Less talking, more fighting. What's going on? Could this box be causing everything? Him! Hear me, Knights. Sodia will command this division and eliminate the remaining monsters. Shouldn't evacuating these people come first? The rest of you will defend the spectators with me. Don't let even one of the beasts escape. Huh. Looks like Flynn was thinking ahead. He even sounds like a real captain already. We're getting out of here. Judith and your puppy dog already took off. Yeah, I heard. A hero's work is never done. Hello? Wait up! Hey! Parted with Judith and Rapide. Okay, we must save our game right now, because I am not going any more overtime than I already have, even though I already am, but I'm saying this right now by going more overtime, because I can't save it until I go to the one in front of the inn. Here I go! Oh my god, so much happened this episode. I don't even know what to title it. Ah, oh shit. God damn it. He got out of the city. He was pretty good at running away. Repeat is still after him. Hopefully he won't lose the trail. But what's the deal anyway? Why would Regay... Think he set us up somehow? It looks that way. He used us to keep Flynn from carrying out his orders. Orders? Relax. It doesn't look like he's here to recapture any princesses. He wouldn't go through the trouble of entering the tournament for that. Well, then what could it be? Good question. Whatever it was, I'm sure it was hurting Regé's plans. But Regé seemed so polite. He didn't seem too polite when he was making off with that case. This might mean Ruin's Gate is nothing more than a false front. Still, what could he want with that case? Just what was the clear Ciel crystal? About all we know now is that something in that box made my magic go all haywire. I never lost control of my Bodhi Blastia like that before. Hey, if we've got the time to be standing around chatting, shouldn't we be chasing after your doggy friend? You're right, we should be going. Judith, join the party. Uh, let me save it. Okay, you guys, I hope you had a good time on Ride Time. In the next episode, we're going to chase after repeat. I will see you all next time.